Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another EDU Highlights with Absavans and Acer. In today's video, we'll be looking at recording your Google Meets with EDU Enterprise. Now, the biggest difference between the Essentials and the Enterprise Edition is that the Essentials Edition has a temporary recordings function. That means that recordings can be recorded, they stay for 30 days and then they are automatically removed. In addition to that, they can only be shared within your domain or your organization. Now, the Enterprise Edition will keep your recordings. It allows you to share them with others and also download them for use elsewhere. So let's have a look at how we record our Google Meet. Now I'm in a Google Meet right now and I have two teachers that have joined this meeting. So let's go ahead and start the recording. I'm going to go to the bottom right corner where you see those three dots. I'm going to click and one of the options will be to record my meeting. So let's go ahead and click on record. Now, as soon as I record, I get a notification and that means make sure everyone is ready. Let them know you're about to record this meeting. So let's click on start. Now, before it records, you will see that the other teachers get a notification that it is recording in the top left corner. This is at the top left corner of their meeting. And as soon as it turns red, that is recorded. Now the recording function will record all the main speakers of the Google Meet as well as any presentations shared. So even pinning users will not override the main speaker that is being recorded. Let's say that another student joins us and we've already started recording our meeting. Well, they will get a notification. So here you can see I have a student demo account. They haven't yet joined this meeting, but they're going to ask to join. I'm going to admit them into this meeting and they will immediately get a notification that this meeting is being recorded. They can choose to leave or they can join that meeting. So let's go ahead and join that meeting now. As soon as they join, they become one of those highlighted speakers if they are the main speaker. And this is what recording your meeting looks like. Now let's say that I want to stop recording my meeting. Well, there are two ways of doing this. I either ended the meeting for everyone and then that recording is finalized, or I can go to the bottom right corner and click on stop recording. As Soon as I click on stop recording, I will stop the recording of this meeting and that recording is being uploaded to Google Drive. Let's go ahead and end this meeting. We're going to end it for everyone. There we go. The meeting has ended. Now the recording will be uploaded to my Google Drive and I will get an email with the links to those files. So let's go ahead and jump into Gmail and have a look at that email. I'm going to open up our Gmail in a separate tab. And here we go, we've opened up our Gmail. We're in our inbox and you can see that I've just received the recording that has been uploaded to my Google Drive. In this email, you get a link to that video file. This video file is hosted on your Google Drive and it may take a few minutes for the video to be processed by Google Drive. As you can see here, as soon as I click on this, it will open up that video file in a separate tab and the main speaker is highlighted on this video. I'm going to just mute and then you will see what this file looks like. In addition to having the speaker with the video feed, you will also see that speaker's name in the bottom left corner. Now being part of the enterprise edition, I can now also at the top download this file and use it to edit in any other editing software, or I can go to more actions and I can share this video file with others, both within my domain and outside of my domain. Now, I hope you found this helpful. This was another EDU highlights with Apps Events and Acer. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.